At Healthcare Partners Medical Group, our mission is to provide the highest quality of healthcare to each and every patient. With five locations in Pahrump, we are local doctors you know and trust. We want to thank you for choosing us. Quality care starts here. News 46 is brought to you by Healthcare Partners. News is brought to you in part by One Nevada Credit Union, where right now you can refinance your auto loan with rates as low as 2.98% and no payments for 90 days for qualified members. Call us today for details. News 46 is also brought to you by Affiliated Chiropractic and Affiliated Physical Therapy. Come in for your free consultation. Call 775-727-8900. Our goal is to create the individual treatment plan that will restore your health and end pain. News is also brought to you by Comfort Hospice Care, where we give our patients and their loved ones peace of mind, knowing we provide the highest quality of care 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. For more information, call 775-751-0349. Tonight on News 46, a poll is released on last night's presidential debate. Animal House is open and ready for business. And trick or treat with the Pahrump Gunfighters. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Zach Fuentes and Monique Mitchell. Local coverage from Deanna O'Donnell. News 46. Local coverage you can count on. And good evening. It's Thursday, October 4th, 2012. I'm Zach Fuentes. And I'm Monique Mitchell for News 46. Last night, President Barack Obama and Governor Mitt Romney faced off in the first presidential debate of 2012 in Denver, Colorado. According to Reuters poll, Republican Mitt Romney gained ground on Democrat Democratic President Barack Obama after a strong performance in the first debate. Romney is now viewed positively by 51% of voters, the first time the Republican challenger has enjoyed a net positive in the presidential race. Obama's favorability rate remained unchanged at 56 percent. Debates generally do not have a big impact on the outcome of presidential elections, but Romney's strong performance could make the race more competitive. The poll found that Obama's seven-point advantage over Romney had narrowed to a five-point lead, 48 percent to 43 percent, but a truly accurate reading on the debate's impact will not be possible for several days. The online poll surveyed 536 registered voters on Wednesday and Thursday after the debate. It has a credibility interval of 4.8 percentage points. The next debates have been set for October 16th and the 22nd. News 46 spoke to both sides of the coin to get opinions of last night's presidential debate. Andy Alberti, representing the Nye County Republican Central Committee, gives his point of view. Well, a group of us got together to watch the debate last night, and quite frankly, we were stunned by the fact that uh, the president seemed to be so out of sorts with his ability to answer the questions and, uh, and to debate, and that Romney seemed to be so on target. I think it wasn't just the Republicans who looked at this that way. Uh, from what we could see, almost everyone who observed last night's debate wondered what happened to the president. And frankly, I watched him in a speech this morning in Denver, and he seemed to be back to his old self. So. It was almost like he just would rather be playing basketball than being at the debate last night. I think Romney scored some great points last night, and he really looked presidential. Do you think that uh, it was the preparation? Do you have an opinion of how come that you have this opinion, or why you think there was a difference? Well, when you looked at it, there were times when Obama looked as though he was actually clenching his teeth. You know, they had both of them on the screen at the same time, and it was almost as if he wasn't sure how we should answer because there was no teleprompter. Mm -hmm. And maybe that was the problem. Maybe he really needs a teleprompter in order to deliver his message. And without it, maybe he's just lost. There's some uh, other debates coming up. Um, 
uh, what do you think about uh, what's going to be happening with those? Um, some of them are on the same issues and a little bit change in the issues. I know October 16th and October 22nd, there will be a second and third debate between the president and the governor. Actually, I'm looking forward to the October 11th debate mm -hmm. between the vice presidents. Uh -huh. And everybody's sort of waiting to hear what uh, Joe Biden has to say. I think that's going to be rather interesting, to say the least. The Nye County Democrats sent some officials who have a unique perspective on Governor Mitt Romney, introducing State Representative Ronald Mariano, who is the current majority leader of the Massachusetts House of Representatives. He has served from 2001 to 2009 as the House Chairman of the Joint Committee on Financial Services, where he was a key architect of the Commonwealth's landmark health care reform of 2006 and principal proponent of transitioning the state's auto insurance market to manage competition in 2008. As Chair, Mariano oversaw all legislative matters pertaining to banking and insurance. Also, we have State Representative Stephen M. Walsh. Walsh has been serving in the Massachusetts House of Representatives since 2002 and represents the 11th Essex District. He was recently appointed to and is currently serving as Chairman of the House of Committee on Health Care Financing. He has served as the Vice Chair of the Public Health Committee, the Vice Chair of the Committee on Capital Assets, Bonding and Long-Term Debt, Chairman of the Committee on, uh, Committee on Community Development and Small Business, and the Chairman of the Committee on State Administration and Regulatory Oversight. Well, you know, we expected uh, Mitt Romney to uh, come out swinging, and he did. Um, he's a very polished and very uh, uh, articulate debater. And, uh, but again, it was lacking in specifics. We've seen this uh, performance before in Massachusetts. We saw it again last night. You heard Obama, President Obama, um, talking about specific plans to move the country forward, and you heard some empty rhetoric from, from Mitt Romney. You actually served with Mitt Romney. Yeah, he was he uh, was elected in 2002, and we served um, uh, for four years together in the legislature. And, uh, and he talked a lot about his time in Massachusetts last night, which was one of the reasons why we wanted to be here uh, to talk a little bit from our perspective. He was not the person that reached across the aisle, as he said. He actually closed off his office to the public. He shut down the elevators, uh, and he wouldn't. He really didn't want to meet with people at any point. And the only time he did work with us was on the health care bill, and he's been doing everything he could to run away from it. So our, the real challenge that we had with the debate last night is just the facts just uh, just aren't there. Uh, he, he talked about how uh, he had made uh, Massachusetts the number one education system in the country. He actually cut funding for education in Massachusetts. He talked about how he wants to invest in coal. He actually closed, closed coal plants in Massachusetts or attempted to close a power plant. And he talked about health care and how um, he wants to repeal Obamacare, which is based entirely on, on his legacy piece from Massachusetts. There was comments that uh, people didn't think that Obama was uh, maybe as sharp or as aggressive last night. Well, you know, Mitt Romney has been pre been preparing for this debate since the mid-90s. This is what he's always wanted to do. And he shut down his campaign in June uh, to practice, and he continued to, to practice while President Obama has to govern. I mean, the, we're in the middle of two wars, uh, you know. He can't take days off and sit and practice and rehearse for this thing and, and rest up. So it, it's sort of an unfair advantage that the, the uh, challenger has, but, but that's the way politics are. And, and maybe Mitt Romney gets a small bump out of this, but I don't think it's sustainable. I think you're going to see when, when people start to focus on the real answers and solutions that President Obama is providing, you're going to see a, a uh, much different, different uh, performance and you'll see the numbers change. Yeah, uh, you know, the last, we, we talk a lot about the middle class and working class families and Mitt Romney focused on that a lot. He knows that he's trying to, to get votes from the middle class. He doesn't care about the middle class. And, and President Obama has been leading us out of this recession and directly doing what he can to help the middle class. Uh, Mitt Romney in Massachusetts certainly outsourced jobs to India. They were middle class jobs, families that had health insurance. He shut them down, he shut down call centers, and he outsourced them to India. How can he stand there last night with a straight face and try to tell the American public that he cares about the middle class? As Ron said, he may get a little bump, but the electorate is, is smarter than that. They're savvy, and they're going to see right through this guy before the end of this campaign 33 days from now. All right, folks, we'll keep it here because we'll have more news for you after this break.
Lakeside Casino and RV Park, where we earn the best ratings for our RV park in North America with the most beautiful scenery and quiet surroundings. Our casino features the best gaming experience, entertainment that'll blow your mind, and come see the great changes in our buffet, all here at the Lakeside Casino and RV Park. This portion of the news is brought to you by Children's Dentistry of Pahrump, specializing in sedation dentistry, now accepting adult patients. Call now for free IV sedation with dental implant, 751-2184. Welcome back everyone, Jeff Rathjen from Golden Gaming invites the public down to Lakeside to view the newly renovated bar. Hey guys, it's Jeff here at down at Lakeside, finally finished the new dockside bar out here at Lakeside. You've got to come down and check out the things that we're doing. We've got brand new plasma TVs, all HD receivers. Come out and watch the ball games, come out and enjoy yourself. You've got to come out and see the great new remodel that we've done out here. The cafe is finally getting finished up, new Lakeside cafe and buffet, new seats, new chairs. Guys, everything is coming together out here for you. Just come on out and say hello. See you when you get here. President Bill Clinton is heading to Las Vegas next week to campaign for President Barack Obama. The Obama campaign announced that the former president will be in Southern Nevada Tuesday for an unspecified event. Clinton has appeared in TV commercials and made speeches on behalf of his fellow Democrat. Animal House has reopened for business. They have remodeled their spacious building located next to the Pahrump Valley Speedway. Animal House is offering some new products and continues to have those old ones you've come to depend on. Uh, a little bit of remodeling. Uh, we're getting the walls painted, floors repainted. Uh, we're getting food in. We're getting a new line of food in. Yeah, uh, We're getting a new line of birds in. Um, right now, the bird is description is just what the birds that we have in for right now. Um, but we're getting the small animals. We're getting small um, reptiles in. Um, we're getting the aquatic area in and everything, so we're gonna be, it's gonna be back to that full line, full service pet center, um, but with more healthy food. We have, uh, we have uh, some red sliders that we've had for a while, some pretty good size. Uh, we've got uh, Kitty City, which we adopt out, and uh, we have uh, daycare, grooming, and uh, dogs for adoption. All sorts of supplies for your pets. Yes, uh, we got all sorts of supplies. We have, um, we still have the diamond line coming in. We have a blue buffalo coming in today. Um, we're thinking, like I said, we're going to do a whole new line of um, foods, something new to the valley, because I feel that that's what we feel like that's what we're um, here for, to give your dog and everybody else's dog something healthy for the valley. Um, new apothecary, just a new line of everything coming into um, Pahrump as the valley, because you guys are here for us and we're here for you. You're not just limited to cats and dogs and uh, no. occasional small tortoises. Yeah, horses, um, rabbits. We do. We got wild birds. We're going to get a um, full line of um, livestock feed, um, so that way we still going to get our hay back in sometime in um, probably mid spring um, or hopefully earlier. So that way we still we're still going to have the free delivery um, to all the, uh, across the valley. Wow, this is a large facility too. You're located right next to Front Valley Speedway. Uh, yes, this is 11,000 square feet. We have a lot of room to expand to uh, to move our product around to where we want. We, we think sit, is fit for the customers when they come in. Uh, we have um, plenty of space for new product. What hours are you guys um, open here? Um, we're going to go back from 7 to 7 to 7 days a week. Sometimes on Sundays, actually, we're going to probably close a little earlier, but it's going to be back basically back to the regular schedule. Um, so... Yes. <laughs> People want to make an appointment to find out more information? Uh, yes, they can call us at 775-751-2287, uh, and we can make an appointment. We can handle anything on the phone. We do free deliveries and free nail trims. All right, folks, we'll keep it here because we'll have more news for you after this break.